Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Nerdman. I'm officially doing a post commentary for you guys today. We're going to be playing a little bit of the original Battlefield, and it's been quite some time. I got to pretty much admit that to you guys. I've been playing a lot of that close quarters, you know, and uh, back to Carcan here lately, and uh, we hopped on this a couple nights ago and got this, and I was really surprised by the turnout. This is probably one of the better games I've had in quite some time where I actually felt like I was having fun instead of having to carry some asshole's hand because he can't get five kills or whatever. He can't pick you up with the assault category. You know, the standard issue stuff. I'm sure you guys experience it every single day just like I do, but it aggravates me a lot, and overall this gameplay had some pretty good players in it, and I was really impressed by the turnout. In this gameplay, I'm going to be playing with two of my friends. You guys won't know them, unfortunately. Uh, one's Sergio, or 87, as I know him. And the other one is somebody that I met through Sergio. We'll just put it that way. He's one of his friends. And now we're good friends now. And overall, these two guys are beasts and legends. And uh, shit just gets done when we all play together. It's good experience. And the server I'm obviously playing in is his friends. So the ticket count's a little ridiculous. So don't look at me. I didn't make the server. But here we go. We're going to be playing on Operation Metro on Rush, 300% tickets. And when I first saw that, I was like, what the hell were you thinking? I mean, it's great for kills, but at the same time, it kind of takes away from the whole experience of Operation Metro. And it's just too many tickets. I think 200 is probably max for at least 90% of, um, just in general, any of the Battlefield maps. I think if you go over 200%, you're a little psychotic. And um, your server probably doesn't stay full as long as you could probably have it because it just takes too long to get done. I mean, that's my personal opinion. If you like to play 500%, dude, that's awesome. I just, I can't play that stuff. It's, I don't have an hour and a half to sit and play one game, you know, and not get any points, really. Actually, I get a lot of points, but you know what I mean. Like, if you played 100% and you played six of them, it would compare to the same thing as if playing one 500%. But anyway, I'll be using the Assault category followed by the M416 with the standard issue attachments, the red dot and the flash suppressor to decrease that 50% vertical recoil because that shit's stupid. I'll be using Cover as my squad perk because, you know, again, I find it to be most effective. And if you guys haven't seen that video where I've talked about all the perks and the benefits, I highly recommend it. I'm not just self-promoting it. I think it'll help you guys understand them because there is some things that aren't, you know, told exactly or they're not, you know, right up in your face when you read the description of them. So that's just something. Maybe you can check that out or you can go to Google and search it however you wish to, you know, figure out the squad perks uh, main story I guess to them so with all that said you know it's just nothing that you guys haven't seen this gameplay is just something I was really surprised that I got I mean it turned out really good and I don't remember how many times if I even get revived once if I do then it you know it's still a good gameplay but the end result was impressive and that's all I gotta say about that so with that said guys I'm gonna jump into you know a few little topics they're nothing too big nothing as crazy as we've been getting these last couple of days but Overall, you know, I'm about to hit 100 subs, and I'm so happy. I mean, yeah, it's only 100, but guess what? All 100 of you guys are better than 100,000 of you guys because I have the opportunity to play with you guys, unlike people that have 100,000 where only a select few, we'll say 24, get to play. So overall, I'm really excited to be hitting this, um, I guess you'd call it, you know, statue or whatever of success in a sense. But I really appreciate when you guys do what you do, you know. I don't ask a whole lot. I try not to. I like to you guys to at least engage in the comments. I think it's kind of cool that we can uh, come together and have, you know, agreements or chat or do whatever. And some of you guys have went as far as to add me on Xbox Live, and I accept all friend requests that come through that. As long as in the description of it, like in the little message part on Xbox, that you tell me where you came from because half of the time I get random friend requests from people in the lobby that we just played, and I decline those just because... They're just usually trying to get you on their team. But that's just what I got to say about that. And uh, overall, I was just curious. 100 is a pretty good landmark. I mean, in my eyes, I know there's people out there that have millions and stuff like that. But this is the starting point. This is where, you know, it's the hardest part to get to. The next one is like, my next goal is 200, then 300, you know. And then after you get to 300, then shit just goes insane from there. But... Overall, I was just curious, do you guys maybe want to do, I'm thinking like a open lobby or something of that sort. I mean, you guys need to let me know in the comments because uh, otherwise, you know, if I don't get enough response, that's probably just saying that you guys aren't really interested or you have something going on that's more important. But overall, if you guys want to maybe do something kind of fun, maybe if it's only like 10 of you or something of that sort, you know, we can all squad up maybe in a battlefield lobby and wait for people to join and all be on one team and just pub stomp the other people until they rage quit. 
Uh, we could do something in Call of Duty if you want. I mean, I got all kind of games. We could do all kind of fun stuff. But overall, I just want to get your guys' opinion. I think it'd be kind of fun, but at the same time, I don't want to open something and only have, like, one person show up. You know what I mean? So, if you guys are interested and that sounds like a lot of fun or something of that, you know, category, you guys could just let me know in the comments because that's the best way to get in touch with me. So, with all that said, again... I wanted to talk about something interesting, and I kind of got to thinking about it, and I kind of looked back when I was like, you know, level one, when the g game first came out. Actually, start at zero, but you guys get my my main gist of it. Um, I wanted to talk about how I got to 100 as fast as I did. Like, if you guys saw my video where I showed you all my stats, you know, I got a few, uh, you know, people telling me that I have ridiculous stats. You know, KD, whatever. I didn't ever reset my KD. For anyone wondering, my KD is fresh you know, day one. I've never even touched it. The reset option is interesting. I would like to do it, but at the same time, what's the reason to do it when it's already that high? That would just defeat the entire purpose or the entire means of doing it. But we're not here to talk about that. I wanted to talk about how I got it so fast with days played. I have a lot of friends on my friends list, especially that have 30 plus days and they're not even to 100 yet. I look on the top leaderboards. Now you can't look at the one through like a couple thousand because they're all you know, this is probably their uh, life or whatever, let's put it in that stance, or at least in a kinder way than saying they're no life in it, but uh, some of them actually do YouTube for a job or something of that sort, you can obviously tell if you look in their description bars, you know, like their bios and crap, but overall, I just want to talk about how I got to 100 as fast as I did, and maybe give you guys some suggestions on how you can get higher level or you can rank up faster than, uh, you know, your competition or maybe your friends or something of that category. But overall, here we go. If you're a premium player, premium is the easiest way to get 100. I'm going to be blatantly honest with you guys. If I didn't have premium, yep, I would, I'd would. i be in my 40s still. Premium basically got me to 100 as fast as it could possibly get you. There's no other way that you can get faster than buying premium. I'm not trying to self-promote it, but at the end of the day, when double XP comes every month, that's a free like 20 levels right there in like a couple of days. And it, most of the time, it's for an entire week. So let's say seven days, you get... I was getting about three levels a day. So I was getting about 21 levels a day. But let's say you're not that try-hard or you don't want to uh, put that much time in. You could probably get easily a level a day. I mean, I don't doubt that one bit. So that's seven levels. But let's say one day you do better. So you could probably get about 10 days throughout the double XP. But I guarantee most of you guys are going to have no problem getting more than 10 levels in, you know, uh, a week or whatever. I think I said a day before. But you get my point. Overall, premium is the easiest way to level up. Another huge thing, if you don't want to buy premium, but you still want to at least level up faster than someone else, play nothing but close quarters. If you play close quarters only, and you don't have premium, so you'd obviously have to buy the map pack for it, uh, that's another fast way to level up. Pre um, close quarters, wow, I'm getting all confused. Close quarters is a great way to level up due to the fact that it's all fast-paced. You're constantly getting medals for running flags. You're constantly getting that 10,000 every 50 flag caps. And each game, eh, you could probably get about 15 flag caps or more, if, depending on how hard you're uh, trying or how your team looks. If your team sucks balls, then I really feel for you because I had to deal with that constantly. But if you're a good player and you have a couple friends that are willing to join you, yeah, you can, you can beat up on some really, really impressive players. You'd be surprised how much uh, being level 100 doesn't really mean a lot but at the same time if you're a lower level and you actually want to try unlike the 100s yeah you have a good chance of beating them so that's just what I had to really say and then another thing is that I just thought of there's two classes in the game that you want to use if you want to level up the fastest you can possibly level up there's no doubt in my mind that you would want to use assault and support the reason I say that is because a health pack and an ammo pack give you XP. An RPG only gives you XP if you kill somebody. A Tugs only gives you like 10 freaking points for motion spot assist or something of that. Maybe it's 50, I don't know. Actually, I think it's 20. So we'll say it's 20 because I can't actually think right now, which is unfortunate. But overall, I find that, you know, the off classes, the, you know, like engineer and uh, recon just don't, are not effective in this kind of category. If you want to level up, two classes, support, assault, no doubt in my mind, you will level up faster than somebody that's using only recon, which is pretty obvious that they um, chose to do that for various reasons. So that's all I got to say about that, guys. I mean, again, being level 100 is cool, but it also puts this emphasis on you that you're constantly going to be the target of somebody's knife. You know, and it's really cool to be maxed out, and if the faster you get it, the more free time you have to do to play other games, I'm looking forward to Assassin's Creed and 
not really Call of Duty. I'm kind of drifting away from that pretty quickly. But overall, the expansion packs for Battlefield 3, I'm looking forward to every single one of them. So it should be impressive. And as I'm making this commentary, Armored Kill comes out tonight at 12.01. And I'm going to be busting my ass to get you guys some gameplay. So hopefully here in the next six hours, it'll be dropping and we'll be having a good time. With all that said, guys, I need to hurry up and give you guys basically the loadout for this weekend on uploads. I need to start getting back into it. I'm sorry I missed two days. You can blame that all on my stupid-ass job because I had to freaking do grill until 1 o'clock in the morning. And then I just, the night before, I got off at 11. Well, you know, I can't do commentaries because everyone's asleep. And unfortunately, that's just a part of reality right there. So... I just want to let you guys know that, but the uploads are going to consist on Battlefield 3. Don't worry, there should be Armored Kill, hopefully tonight, or, well, tomorrow. It's not going to be tonight, obviously, but there should be plenty of that. I'm going to try to get as much gameplay as I can for you guys on that. So don't worry, you Battlefield guys. You always come first in the situations, but Ghost Recon Future Soldier, I need to get back to work on the playthrough on that. I've been super lazy, and work's just being a pain in the ass. So overall... Two things you can look forward to are those two. I'm going to try to get some of that helicopter gameplay that I talked about in, I think, the last or the whatever commentary that we were hopefully going to do something like that and get a couple of guys together. But overall, depending on how stupid and asshole the other team wants to be with their fucking stingers, that series might be dropping out of the water until the next patch comes out and fixes the helicopter again because, wow, that's, uh, that's pretty tough now. It's not that fun compared to when it used to be. I'd rather have a decreased damage in rockets than the ability to not have freaking uh, flares for my gunner. That just drives me nuts. But overall, guys, that's all I got to say for this commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed. I try not to say um as much, and I'm hoping it came out in a professional manner. I do realize there was a couple times where I had to regain my thought process, which is unfortunate, but that's just a part of being human. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode, and Armored Kill, let's go hard, guys. Peace.